Flipping Toronto condos. How to flip Toronto condos? How to do it? This is Yossi Kaplan, Toronto real estate agent with Search Realty and mortgage broker with Search Mortgage. And today we're going to talk about flipping Toronto condos. All right. Uh, my camera is not working today, so I'm sorry you can't see my face talking, but there it is. I'll do my best. Uh, Twitter.com slash Yossi Kaplan. Quick introduction. I'm a Toronto real estate agent and a mortgage broker. I help uh, investors buyers, sellers, and renters buy, sell, invest, and rent Toronto condos. Uh, we do some homes, we do commercial, we do land, we do outside of Toronto, but most of our work is in the Toronto condo market because it's huge and it's moving, it's dynamic, and it's fun, and it's crazy. Um, today we're going to talk about flipping Toronto condos, how to do it, what does it mean, um, where are your entry points, where to get in, when to get out. Um, how to look at your prices. It's not going to be very technical. It's going to be easy. So if you're a beginner, this is a great video for you. If you're an advanced, uh, take notes of some of the points I'm going to tell you here. Um, if you have any questions, just pluck them down in the comments below uh, or email me if it's a personal thing regarding property that you currently have on the market and you're not flipping or can't buy it or whatever. I'll, I'll, I'll answer you, okay? So Yossi Kaplan here. Um, we're going to start with uh, one of the easiest, uh, uh, most known ways to flip condos, which are assignments. Before I'm going to get into this thing, uh, and there's some flyers here from my twitter.com, so I should say a couple about some assignments we're selling at the moment. What is, what is flipping? What does it actually mean to flip? Well, to flip means to buy something with the intention of selling it later for profit. That's what flipping means. I'm going to buy this condo, I'm going to buy this widget, whatever it is, the popsicle, and the value will increase and I'm going to sell it and I'm going to make some money. I'm, I'm becoming the broker. I'm actually I'm, I'm grabbing this thing with the intention of selling it, okay? So if you think about it, anyone that has ever sold property, if you ever sold anything, I don't care if you sold your kids by Conky Gigi, you sold the condo, you sold, you sold anything that you bought from someone else before <clears throat> or from a company or from Amazon or you made it, you flipped it, okay? You, you bought it or you created it with the intention of selling for profit. You flipped it. So if you've ever sold a property, you flipped it. Even if that property was your grandparents and was in the family for so many years, it doesn't matter. You still flipped it, okay, because you sold it for profit. This, this property was, and, and all properties, you know, people buy them for two reasons. One is to make money. The other is to live in. Now, everyone's buying a property to make money. Some are buying them to live in, but a lot of them just buy to rent it out or to flip. It means to assign it, like you see here, the Archa Pena is available for 1.25 million, two bed, two bath. So the people that bought this uh, Pena was earlier, you know, they they paid uh, they paid a 15% down, or whatever it is, say 15%, 5%, 5%, 5%, and 5% uh, left in occupancy. Usually, that's the case, and now they're offering this Pena for sale through us. So if you like to buy this penthouse at Art Shop, you literally will buy from a flipper, and then you're going to resell it later down, down the line, down the years, to someone else. So you're going to be flipping it too. So uh, essentially, everyone's flipping, whether they realize it or not. Nonetheless, um, when, you, when the intention is to sell for profit, you know, that, that's kind of proper flipping. So we'll focus on that, okay? So... This, this is an interesting one, um, and we're going to start with the, I'm not, this is going to be a bit of a different kind of video, so bear with me. You can't even see my face. I know it's easier when, when there's a face there to relate, but just bear with me. Um, here's another great example. Queen and Spadina, 330 Richmond, um, 889 per foot. So they bought this condo for less, and of course, they didn't pay. This condo is not finished yet. It's it, it just, it just under completion. It's going to be completed soon. So... The person who bought the 635 square foot condo, um, right now they're asking eight, eight, nine a foot. Let's say they paid $700 a foot for this condo, you know, but say about $500,000, okay? So that means that their profit, uh, if they get the 565 before their expenses will be $65,000. And if, uh, if their cost was 500,000, they paid the 15%, that's 75,000. So they almost doubled, they nearly doubled um, their investment and that would have been in about three years so that's not bad you know if you doubled your investment in three years you're making about 33.333 percent uh, a year an average profit from that investment of seventy five thousand dollars so you're basically making twenty five thousand twenty five thousand another fifteen thousand on that seventy five so say the first year 
And this is theoretically speaking because the money is not in your pocket, but if I were to amortize it over the three years, the f you put the 75 down, the first year you get 25, another year you get 25, another year you get 15. That's pretty good, right? 50 plus uh, 15, 65. So that's our little example here. So you can see it's pretty easy. Of course, you, you need money to make money. Um, if you don't have any money, that's a whole other video, how to make money enough to have a deposit to buy the condo to flip it but in this case why would someone buy this condo from the flipper where you say well you know they made all the money no they have not there's a lot more money to be made there's a lot more money to be made when i skip here to the market watch this just came out a couple of days ago you can see that the toronto market is on fire uh, look at my videos from this past week and you'll see from the week of uh, the first week of september and you'll see i analyze uh, this chart and I explained to you the Toronto market is doing really really well okay it stabilized after two crazy years 2015 to 16 and 16 to 17 it stabilized and now it's just creeping up creeping up three four five eight percent a year creeping up which is really good that's what we're gonna do look at that orange line of 2019 so back to Twitter okay what happens is when you buy this condo you invest in this lovely condo of course this is this is not real this just renders um, and you know, you know you're going to get a really good product at a really good price, and you believe that this product will be worth more later, you would consider buying it, okay? So your first point of entry to get into a flip is the pre-construction. Pre-construction VIP sale. So for example, now um, I have some VIP sales available for you on, on several buildings. Uh, they're well by Tridel. Let me show you here. YouTube.com slash Yossi Kaplan. I already have a bookmark with uh, with that weird channel name that YouTube gives you that's fine we'll use that and you can see here the very first video I have at the moment is Toronto three best projects these are all pre-construction you can buy them right now with me if you like uh, all you gotta do is uh, give me a shout call email call the office send a pigeon <laughs> whatever you like uh, and here we go into the three best uh, investor condo projects that are right now available in Toronto and these are of course the well by Tridel Okay, you can see it right here. They will buy Tridel, Galleria Mall by uh, Freed and Ella Canada, and Crosstown Condos by Aspen Ridge. These are, uh, and th these are selling well. Now, you may not see a lot of advertising for this. You may not see a crazy amount because they don't need to. These, these products are actually ongoing, and they are selling. That's Galleria Mall. I did a whole video about Galleria recently and just to show you. Um, Galleria, we're going to get the prices for this thing uh, in a couple of days. And we're going to launch it. And, you know, you're looking at from the 500s to 2 million kind of range. If you can grab anything, uh, and these are some of my recent videos here. If you can grab anything today, you are able to flip it later and hopefully for profit because we said that the market's going up. So pre-construction is your first point of entry into the game. Uh, let's pick on Galleria just because it's so easy. So here's the video of Galleria Mall. There's uh, EOC, the realtor, talking about Galleria Mall and explaining to you, uh, showing you here all about Galleria, the area, Toronto, what's going on. And most importantly, uh, explain here that um, this is a project you can invest in because I think in the long term prices will increase here. It's a great development. The developers are really good. Big, fat company. Big uh, pockets full of money. Very nice. All you got to do is implement implement your strategy which is to buy now and sell later so of course you're going to be ready to buy you need to know what you're doing in order to buy this thing how to work it i will help you move you through all the process uh, but the most important thing is you got to get ready you got to get ready um, you know when these projects come come online you'll be amazed thousands and thousands of worksheets going on uh, one of the projects i spoke with uh the developer on site, uh, the broker for the developer on site told me they had something like five, seven or 8,000 worksheets coming in. They're coming through fax, email people, bring them in, people bring checks in the hand, anything to get it, to get in here. Why? Because people realize the Toronto City of the Future, it's happening now. Uh, Canada allows people with a lot of money to come here. If you don't have money, you can't really do it unless you're a student. So. When you come to Canada, you come with money, and when you come with money, we want you, we'll take your money, and then you need a place to stay, uh, or you're going to buy one yourself, so there you go. That's where you're going to go. Now, the supply uh, cannot uh, catch up with the demand because, you know, it takes a long time to build a condo building. It can take five to ten years. 
by the time you get the idea, buy the land, get all the uh, permits necessary, get the construction loans, all that stuff takes a long time. Okay, so back in the day when I started, I was making, I made a video called um, called uh, Six Dollar a Day Condo. It basically told you that for six bucks a day, which is the interest on the loan for the deposit, at least that's what I calculated the time, even if it's 20 bucks a day, whatever, um, that's enough for you to put a deposit on a condo. Even if it's a small condo, if it's just a starter condo, or if you can afford the two the two bedroom, the nice one, which is a, which is a, usually a good long term investment, you know, get some views. Um, that's really nice. You can also invest in a million dollar listing if you want. There is a million dollar listing video, which I can show you here how to invest in a million dollar uh, listing. Okay, so they are all these are all flips. The first point of flip is getting a pre construction. Uh, if you want to see more about pre construction, you go to my YouTube. And, uh, sorry, to my uh, Twitter, and you look here and scan through these items here, uh, twitter.com slash Yossi Kaplan, and start scanning to find what you can, pre-construction, okay? Your second, point of, uh, your second point is, of course, the assignment. Assignment at 20 Lombard, assignment at King of Spadina, assignment here, assignment there, assignments, assignment in Nobu. Now, why would you buy assignment? Because you say, well, the person already made money on it. Well, they have, but... You know, that property has a long time to go. Think about all these houses. Oh, you know, my grandpa, the neighbor, the uncle, they bought this property in 1960 for $12,000, and now they sell for a million too. That's a hundred time increase on the value. Yes, it is. And these things happen. It happen all the time. And as a matter of fact, if you look at the charts, okay, if you look at the, at the charts and you look at the price, uh, these are sales sales these are prices look at the brown line which is the moving average so it, it kind of smoothen you can see that line goes up now you may have a hiccup once in a while that's okay that's part of the economy or inflationary economy that everything becomes more expensive um, because the value of the money devalues and one of the best ways to stay in a game is of course stay in a game right here is to buy something that goes up okay that retains your value that's called real estate so when you flip you see you're actually storing your value, making sure that your hard-earned money um, is good, and then you can, you can make advantage, advantages. So, for example, if you flip twice a year and you make $50,000 every time you flip after all your expenses, that means you're making $100,000 extra a year. So, before taxes, in 10 years, you've made $1 million by flipping. So, you know, a lot of people that I know and uh, a lot of clients, that's what they do. Uh, you can come here, urbanrealtytoronto.com, scan some of the stuff I have. Here, uh, another article about my three best investor condo projects. You can buy something here. Now, this is pre-construction. It's going to be expensive because pre-construction now is top price. Nonetheless, yesterday's pre-construction was cheaper than today's. And a year ago was cheaper. And two years ago was cheaper. And that's why, you know, in two years from now, the well by Tridel, if you pay 1200 a foot, you did really well. You pay 1400 a foot, you did really well. You bought the panels at the top, looking south. Uh, for $1,600 a foot, you did really well. Why? Because in two, three, four years, it will be more. And that's the thing. Okay, so um, you're going to go uh, pre construction Galleria Mall. Maybe you can get in at like a thousand bucks a foot. That's great. Uh, maybe a smaller unit would cost a little more. 1100 a foot, 1200 a foot. Maybe you want like one of the nicest units on top, the, the highest uh, floor there, you know, maybe you'll pay a bit more per foot. When you sell, you know, somebody will pay you accordingly. So if you if you bought a low low floor, they'll pay you less. You bought a high floor with great view, they'll pay you a little more. So, you know, if I got one of these penthouses here, look at this, there's all open views all the way south. All these buildings have a lot of open views all the way south. That's really nice. There's a lot of southeast here. There's a lot of southeast here. I th think they're slightly turned to the east, all these buildings. But that's okay. They're actually almost uh, almost magnetically south because Toronto is a bit of an, an angle, if you know what I mean. Okay, so there you go. Great location, right in the right in the center of the big block. It's called Toronto. Uh, fantastic opportunity. And of course, Crosstown, which is uh, which is another opportunity to flip. These coming at 900 foot. Um, selling right now the first two towers out of multi-tower development here and you can see what that that looks like that's a serious master plan community so that that gives you longevity longevity means that you know when you as an investor you buy this property whether you flipped it to uh, to, to uh, as an assignment or you closed on it and kept it you know 
find that good floor plan like this is this is some nice decent floor plans kitchen at the back separate bedroom with a window and a door people like that and that's a small unit so it's very efficient okay so I'm looking for efficient units and units that I know the people love this is good this is good there's almost no wasted space you know <clears throat> kitchen all, again at the back uh, small bedroom now these are tiny units but they'll be perfect for someone and they make a lot of sense for the ROI. The other type of unit, by the way, that makes a lot of sense for the ROI is the, are the larger units, the two bedrooms, the three bedrooms. Now those come at a, at a premium, especially on a high flow with view, but nonetheless, if you pick a, a two bedroom unit that is really nice and hard to get, hard to get, I mean, these are south facing units. So you make, you pick up a unit with some view and light and a good height. You can do really, really well on these, okay? Please don't buy expensive units on the low floors. Do not buy expensive units on the low floors. Just don't do it. And developers, if you have large two-bedroom, three-bedroom corner units on low floors, I don't, I don't, just don't, just don't. Put all your cheap little investment units, the, the one bedroom, the studios at the bottom, and on, you know, don't waste your penthouse floors, developers, and your top floors on small units. It's inefficient because you. Your costs, uh, your fixed costs in a unit, you know, kitchen, bathroom, all that stuff is high. So you got to put the two bedrooms up. So developers, you know, here's a lovely unit kitchen at the very, very back. This is fantastic design, okay? <coughs> very cozy, very comfortable. It's a bit of a larger unit. It's about a 600, 650 square feet. So that's good. Now, statistically speaking, if you want to maximize your RA quick, you probably want to buy smaller units. Uh, or, or efficient two bedrooms. This unit is slightly a larger one bedroom, so it's a, it's a bit of a more of a long-term investment because it'll cost a bit more because we're selling them, we're flipping them uh, is do, at a dollar per foot value, but there's only one bedroom in this one. <coughs> so I'm gonna find someone who wants, uh, when I, I'm gonna flip it to someone who wants to live in a one bedroom, a more spacious one bedroom, who can afford it, who likes the extra space, okay? It could be one person, a couple, so on. Okay, very, very nice units, very efficient. Developers are getting better at these units. Developers are getting better at this game, and we need to get better at picking up the best units that can do the best for us. So when I when I'm gonna buy a unit to flip, I look at all kinds of stuff. One of the first things I look at is of course the location of where the property is. So if it's the well by Troy Dell, it's a fantastic location for Honest Padina. It's gonna come with a bit of a higher price, okay? But I'm going to rent to the Shopify engineers. And if you watch my Google, uh, how to rent a Shopify engineer, let me show you this. It's pretty funny. Um, <clears throat> where am I here? Let's go, Yossi Kaplan. Okay. Always educate yourself. Always educate yourself. Always read. Always watch videos. You know, I don't watch TV. I don't have time. I've got to go. Uh, where is that? This is my video channel here. We're going to look at the how to flip to Shopify. I love that video. How to make real estate money off Google and Shopify. This is the ultimate flip video because it really tells you, it sh I show you here how much these people are making. You know, there, there could be a lot of young people are coming into town for a job and here are the spaces that they work in. I take you inside the uh, literally inside their offices and show you how much they make, show you the stats, and then I go, these are the, these are the prices, this is the places you, they like, this is uh, the prices, and this is how you find these units uh, to sell or to rent to these Google and Shopify engineers, and then I go over some units and show you how to do it, okay? So there's a lot of information here. It's all free, by the way. Uh, it's on YouTube. You don't need to sign in, just watch it, okay? Uh, if you want to give me a thumbs up, great. You can, you can subscribe, you can share. I really appreciate it. All feedback, negative feedback is good too. So back to flipping. I want to find a unit that is a flippable unit. So that unit, I need to make sure that the end result of the unit, is this unit good? Uh, does that unit work for me? Does that unit for work for me as an investor? And when I'm going to flip it, how good would it be this unit? How easy would it be to sell it? Now, a lot of sellers, a lot of sellers come to me with the craziest ideas. Oh yeah, I'm gonna sell it because you know I'm gonna find someone who is uh, limping on one leg and likes to carry uh, I don't know a little flag and does this and does that and you know they they have a they have a hat. 
<laughs> a lot of these crazy ideas, I hear them all the time, but in reality, you don't know who's going to buy from you. Now, we usually, we can tell you that a large unit in a certain building, you know, most of, a lot of building, you know, like this is close to a school and it's got, it's got, uh, so maybe you'll find a family there. If it's noble, it's probably like a young professional who want to live here. Um, or we're going to rent it to some traveling executive because it's fancy and it's going to be very expensive. So, yes, we have an idea of the demographic, but you don't. So, uh, the other day someone came to me and said, you know, I have a property, but it couldn't sell. And I know this is going to be my type of buyer. Well, why hasn't it sold? It hasn't sold because the idea of you flipping that house to someone else, uh, of whoever you imagine going to buy from you, it's just wrong. You're just wrong. But the problem is a lot of people are not willing to admit that they're wrong. They're not willing to admit that their idea just didn't work. Maybe the idea was okay, but still it just didn't work. So if it didn't work, that's totally okay. Take a step back and uh, reconfigure and find out how to do it. Sometimes just the listing doesn't look good, you know. Sometimes the property is good, but there's something else. Um, it's, it's a people business, you know. We, this is a people business, so we have to appeal for people. And that's the most important thing. Okay. So um, here's a good example. So this is a penthouse for rent at $10,000 a month, 88 Arbor Square. Um, so in this case, the developer is uh, renting this penthouse because they wanted some exorbitant kind of money and they haven't found a buyer yet. So they decided just to put it on the market and rent it out. So in this case, they'll have to wait until they get the flip. Why is that? Because there's, at the moment, the value they're asking for is uh, higher than the perceived value of the intentional buyer. And that means that if there's an intentional buyer that would buy this condo or any other condo, um, you got to flip it to them in the price that is appealing to them. Okay. So here's a great example of your typical bread and butter investment unit. These are the playground condos. These are mostly uh, investor condos. And you can pick up units here in the 850 to 900 square foot range, maybe even 800 some. So to me, that's a great uh, place to buy to get into the game and because it's still an assignment somebody says you know I can't really close on it there's an opportunity here just take it away from me so maybe I have a lower floor one bedroom it's a nice plan yeah and, and you gotta flip it to me you're gonna sell it to me for a really good price I can put a tenant in there for a couple of years and then flip it again that's great you have no idea how many people are buying assignments just to flip them to, to, to sell them further uh, this is my listing here at 488 University 649.5 it's less than 1200 a foot now, <clears throat> for this unit, this is an amazing price. If you think of the BIG King West, on King West, they're selling 530 square feet for $800,000. $800,000 for the same size. If you look at 481 University, across the street from this development, was still in the, in the pre-sale, yeah, I'll sell you a condo there for um, $1,500 a foot, $1,600 a foot, $1,700 a foot, and yes, you only have to pay the 15% and you can wait the four or five years because it's a huge building, probably take a little longer to build. Nonetheless, you can make the money here now because you can buy this one from an assignment at under 1,200 a foot, put a tenant in, get you 5,000 a month because I think you will. Uh, you're going to get a doctor, surgeon, lawyer, executive from the area on university and it's right in the subway, so it's amazing. Or even furnish it and do a short-term rental. Six months is usually allowed the shortest in the condo docks, but some condos will allow even shorter. And then, wait a year or two, you know, collect 100000 in rent <laughs> and then sell it to someone else. And you probably get, you know, 800 or 850 because everyone around, everything around in that location and quality will sell for that kind of money. So that's how you do it. Okay, so this is available. Um, this condo here, I'm going to tell you, this thing was sold a couple of years ago for $2.7 million. This is one of the penthouses. This is the Southeast penthouse on the 12th floor of Fashion House, the King Building. These are the views. Lovely unit. I've been in it. Really nice. And they just got a renter for $9,500 a month. $9,000, so say $10,000. That's, you're looking at $120,000 a year in rents here. Okay? $120,000 in rents over 10 years, over a million dollars in rents. Not bad at all. Now, when you take into consideration um, the cost that cost the owner of this unit to uh, acquire this unit, you know, the condo fees and taxes are really minuscule compared to what you get. 
uh, they probably do not have a mortgage they probably buy cash anyways so they're probably paying say two thousand dollars a month for everything all in and they're still keeping eight thousand a month profit times twelve ninety six thousand so you can actually make a hundred thousand profit here on this unit uh, if you own it now it probably cost you three million or more to buy these days but hey it's still hundred thousand income uh, a year if if you had uh, the three million or the ability to borrow three million or to pay some and borrow the rest 20 80 50 50 whatever it is would you be able to make a hundred thousand a year in profit before tax um, for another investment a similar investment I don't know pretty hard but this is this is not that difficult you don't have to be there yeah. uh, residences and, and so on and so forth so whomever bought this unit small pictures here and and you know they're flipping it okay so you you can do the same also so I'm gonna flip around here and I want to show you so this is my uh, Facebook facebook.com slash urban realty Toronto we mostly post everything um, I try to keep an even post whatever goes into the Twitter and to the other channels will come in here so you can follow us here to get the updates okay um, there's not much, uh, most of the chatting is done actually on other channels than Facebook, but a lot of information, or all the information, is uh, reposted to Facebook as well. So you can see it here. 36 Zora, that's the Airbnb condo. That's also really interesting because if these condos uh, or the Niagara condo is going to do really well, um, and let's say you're making crazy rents here, you could flip it to someone else uh, after you close the event, you know. You can sell it to someone else who's buying it with the intention of making money, with the intention of cash flow. Okay, so that's what we're talking about. Okay, Urban Realty, I showed you. Um, a couple of my listings on the market right now, that's 71 King Street, it's offered a 789. This is a beautiful reno of a 1,100 square feet unit. Um, all these California closets, it's not the California brand, but it's it's, it's uh, similar. It's fantastic quality, by the way. Um, the new floors, new everything. Uh, put those glass doors in the second uh, master. Created this uh, foyer. Um, the only thing that was left in this unit are the walls and the windows. Everything else is pretty much removed, remodeled. The kitchen was completely ripped out and uh, recreated. Uh, Mastercraft masterful work done here everything is custom and it's it's built to last that's a little storage unit in there seven eight nine um these units are asking for rent about through thirty five hundred dollars or so three thousand thirty five hundred a month say three thousand times twelve thirty six thousand not bad maybe forty thousand in rents uh that's pretty good that's like uh about five percent gross that that's pretty good and it makes sense in the real estate market Here's another listing I have. This is on the open market right now. Uh, so these are uh, resales, and that's a triangle, uh, Edge of Triangle Park 36 Lisgar. This building uh, has a bit of a story, but nonetheless, a lot of transactions here. And this unit here, that's my listing, 489. Uh, that's a two bedroom, one bathroom with no parking, 600 square feet unit. And this unit is fantastic. Uh, it's in a very good shape. So this is, this is the original owners. They kept it in imma immaculate condition. And to me, that's a very, very good unit because the price comes in low, um, uh, but the rents will be pretty high. You probably get 2,200 in rents here, maybe even a bit more, maybe 23. So that's really nice because you can you can collect, you know, say $25,000 uh, in rents this year. So that's again we're looking at the 5% gross mark, which is which is more or less what you're expecting here. But of course, the entry point of this unit is lower because the, the cost of this unit is lower. So it's, it's a bit easier to buy, it's a bit easier to sell, a bit easier to get a tenant, of course. Um, it's not the same quality, but it's very, very nice nonetheless, and it, it's a viable opportunity. It's a cheaper one. Maintenance fee is only 432. Uh, the dollar per foot is low here. You can see I'm logged in. You can see some stuff that was recently sold. It's all good, and the building's doing really well, okay? Um, other things I have here to show you. So. Um, here I pulled, I, I went, I go to yossi.searchrealty.co, which is our search interface, and I popped in Toronto and 36 Lisgar, and you can see, Fisher probably has my listing, we currently have the cheapest listing in the building, and you can see a similar unit, 
is, is asking 3300 a month. So way more than I was even imagining. So the, the ratio of rental income to, to your cost of purchase is very, very good. I'm not logged in right now. I'll do it later. Um, but just so you know, it's available. Okay? I'll pop the link uh, in the comments so you can visit. And of course, you can see all the other listings in the building. I'm sorted by uh, price now. Where's the sort? I'm sorted by price, low to high. And that's why my listing pops first, because I got the best price in the building. There were units cheaper than this listing. They sold, of course. And now I'm the cheapest, so that's how it uh, goes. So I'm, I'm the least expensive unit. Mine will sell first. Once I go, you know, these units will go, once, and so on. And that's how the price keep creeping up. Here, the 538 or the 528, you know, they, they will likely have to wait the longest unless it's a very unique uh, unit, you know, it offers something special. Um, in this case, I know these units, they're great units, they're a different kind of two bed, they're side by side, so the, the rooms are much smaller. Um, but they may have a bit better view or this stuff, so it's a personal, it's a personal choice, but you know, there's a, there is a difference of uh, $36,000 from my unit to this unit, or almost fifty thousand dollars for my unit to this unit so that's a lot of money so someone's looking at the sub 500 category you know they only have these choices here up to here one two three four five so that's all the units they look at they're looking at. okay so when you buy a property for uh to flip you got you got to look at what else is selling and you got to see like what kind of product i'm buying is it the cheap product relative to the building relative to the area because you can search right you can go in and see what's available in the area um, or is it the, one of the more expensive ones? Does it offer uh, more choices? Is it better because it's got a better layout or maybe it has better views? So you want to look at all these things to understand where it's going to get you when you need to sell. Uh, this is the same property I showed you before, just in a different interface on the yossi.searchrealty.co. Um, not logged in here either, <coughs> which is okay. Uh, but that's what you get. So that's a two bedroom, two bath, and that's like a, a one bedroom, one bath, and that's all available in the building right now. There's not a lot of listings. And yes, we're getting a lot of showings. Uh, just from comparison, what's going on in Fashion House right now is the King building, 560 King. So I, I have nothing for sale. I only have rentals. Uh, they started 1950 for a studio, 2100 for a studio, 2100 for a studio. I know studio because it says one with zero beds. Uh, and then uh, I have a larger one bed, two bath, 3,500, two plus one, two bed, one bath, a reversal of that, 3,549 to 5,000 for this uh, low floor unit with a patio. So that helps to see how much people are asking for these units because that tells me, will I be profitable? I can take the amount of rental I think I'll get, let's say 3,500, and deduct mortgage if I have any, deduct the, the condo fees, uh, deduct the taxes and that's about it you know the tenant pays my hydro deduct maybe one month plus HST if I use Yossi to uh, list out and rent my property for me and there you go and uh, if you want me I can do the, that that calculation for you it's pretty easy for me okay um, when you go to another way to look at properties to buy to flip or just to compare prices go to urbanrealtytoronto.com go to the bottom and now we're gonna look at some assignments so assignments are a great opportunity to buy and to re-flip, to flip again. Okay, we're talking about flipping condos. Pre-construction flipping, assignment flipping, and resale flipping. That's, I'm showing you all of these options. So all these are in the system right now, um, available for you. These are assignments. Now, mind you, most assignments do not show. There's probably 10 times more of these assignments. Uh, last time I looked, there were 57 of those. Uh, so there's uh, 12 less now. There, question is they remove from the system because they're sold or terminated or whatever I don't know I haven't looked but you can see that it's an active market stuff is moving fast it's moving fast because people are realizing that there's value here so if the value is good if the perceived value is good um, you'll see more action on it so when you offer better value if you're gonna flip a unit make sure that unit can offer better value and better value is the it always perceived value, how people come and say, you know, yeah, I'll pay 600000 for this one. Uh, now, mind you, uh, back in the spring, I was, I was um, just stuck in bidding wars on Queen West, trying to get them ended up like two bedrooms there, 700 square feet, 
we're taking over 700, I think the one sold 712, 800, <laughs> the one we bid on, we didn't get it, we're like a few thousand short, um, but it's, it's unbelievable, it's just unbelievable. Okay, so you can see here, and here I sorted the, that was the price sort. <laughs> there's only one on the 600, uh, and these are, there's two in the sixes, and then everything else, seven, and then eight, there's about 495 out there. Oh, I did latest, let, let me do low, but low. Okay, so here we go. Uh, if you want to get over uh, under 500,000, you got to go way west. Basically, cross the Humber. You're down uh, down here, if you can see. Down here, that's cross the Humber. Okay. And then they're not necessarily... No, where am I? I'm sorry. That's the Humber here. This area here. Okay. So... If you want cheaper stuff, you know, you go Eglinton West, you go Shepherd East, Shepherd East. Uh, that's towards uh, Yorkdale, I believe. Uh, there's one, there's one downtown, 600,000. Why would you not, I think it's going to pop the registration. Okay. Why would you not spend 600,000 downtown in a good one bedroom in a great building uh, or get two bedrooms, 600,000 at... Uh, by the mall, Yorkdale Mall or whatever. I, I usually tend to look at the downtown first because the, the veracity, the, the speed, the energy of all the deals happening here is so fast that if I wanted to sell or wanted a tenant, it'll be very easy for me. If I wanted to flip it, it'll be easier for me. So location is everything. But then again, location comes with a price. 835, two bedroom, two bath, and those are smaller smaller units, of course. 878, two bedroom, two bath. So that, that's probably a thousand a foot, give or take. Okay, but that's a lot of money. That's nine hundred thousand dollars. That's nine hundred thousand dollars. Nine hundred thousand dollars. So those are expensive. Nine hundred ten. Nine twenty. A million dollars. And we're getting into the million dollar range. Would you spend a million dollar uh, outside of Toronto down here? I don't know. Uh, but that's you got to you got to be very cautious when you look at these large buildings. Now a million four, if it's the penthouse, and give me a beautiful penthouse nobody else has. That's a great, that's a good consideration. That's okay too. You can, you can flip, you can flip a unit for two and a half million too. Okay, that's what I'm saying. It's all about the perceived value, and you got to do your homework, or ask me like Yossi, what do you think? Can I sell or not? Would it work or not? You know, my budget is eight hundred thousand. What's the best flip I can buy? What's the best unit investment I can buy for eight hundred thousand that will serve me well as my home and make me money, and be a good rate investment, and it'll be easy to find a tenant. That's proper flipping. That's proper thinking. That's proper investing. Uh, you can see here, this came out uh, just recently, uh, a few days ago, and the market's doing great. 7,700 uh, sales in Toronto. This is uh, 416 and 905 in the big block. Uh, and MLS price is up to almost 800,000. That's average. Average. So Toronto is becoming more and more expensive. You know, it's, it's the average Toronto everything is going to be a million bucks soon and that means that the downtown will be nothing under a million so you know if you have that a hundred thousand uh, lying around you're not doing anything with it and it sits at the bank and earning negative interest means you're losing money because the bank only gives you one or two percent but the inflation is three or four that's not good then you're losing money every month every day uh, but if you can invest it you have 100 200 300 500 1 million invest it Invest in a property that can make you money, either via rent or flip it, uh, appreciation, better both. Okay, back to the housing market charts. I can show you here the case for the case of flipping is the case that the price has to go up or the value has to go up. Of course, you can also buy, renovate, and flip. Um, that's a more complicated option. Uh, we can talk about it. I've done quite a bit of uh, flips where it was a house that we fixed up and sold. Or condos, usually condos, kitchen and bath, floors, stuff like that. The one I showed you here, that's a very complex reno because uh, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. This, this, you want to recognize the unit if you walked in before and after. Okay, this, uh, this is an older building and it just looks amazing. This competes with any unit that you can see on King West. More spacious, closets, cabinets, everything you need. Uh, Top, top, top appliances. Of course, they have a pool down there. They got lots of amenities. So that that's a great contender. Okay. Here we go. So in, I remind you that in 2016-17, market was going up so fast. 
it was going up by 25% a year for about two years in a row. And it, it really went up by like 60 or 80% in four years. That's, that's so fast. So it's got to calm down a bit, but it's not calming down much. I mean, we are here at the 792 mark, remember? Because I just showed you the 792 mark on uh, here, 792, it's right here. So we are the 792 mark already. And, you know, crossing the 800 will happen this year, next year. It's just an inflationary force. Even at only 3 or 4% a year, it's going to happen. It's got to happen because if it didn't, um, the whole economy is going down. That's, that's a whole other story. You know, nothing happens in vacuum. Everything's connected. Uh, but real estate is the main growth engine of the economy, especially in Canada and immigration. So, you know, it's going to come up. It's going to come up. It's going to kind of have a bit of a peak in the fall and then come down for the winter. And of course, peak again in the spring, and the peak is usually May, June. Okay, not in the summer, just before. And you can see here the amount of sales. And we did have a drop a bit in 2018, which is really good. It gave relief and gave opportunity for anyone that wanted to get in the market. Like if you wanted to buy in the market, you know, it's still a good time. But we are picking up momentum again. It's not like very. It, it, it's not dropping. It just it's just gonna keep creeping up. So get in there, find a the value, and by finding good value, you can actually save yourself some good dollars and do really good work there, okay? So this is my video about flipping Toronto condos. There's so many opportunities, there's so many options. You can get in on the pre-construction. You can get in and buy an assignment. You can even buy an old uh, property and fix it. Um, you can do anything you want. You can buy an Airbnb condo. Uh, lots of options for you. If you want to follow me on Facebook, there you go, Urban Realty Toronto. I post everything here too. Um, UrbanRealtyToronto.com will give you kind of the in-depth review of the most important projects I post here, which is really nice, uh, including the video. So i got to make the video first, then give you the review. But it's, it's good. This is deep. Okay. Um, you can buy this renovated unit. That makes a lot of sense to me because it comes in a big discount at 701 King because that's only 789 for 1100 square feet so that's fantastic value here okay you can go with something like Lisgar uh, that is cheaper and has its own options uh, very very nice unit a very high ROI on this two bedroom that is very efficient uh, you can go to yossi.searchweekly.co and search what we got and so on and so forth that's it Good luck. Make some money and flip well. You'll see. Out.